I wonder the kind of mentality we have as Christians. We take, we don't take any responsibility for society. We think Christianity is all about church and church attendance, and then no improvement. Listen, for those of you who are not in power, there is something you can do for society. On your birthday, instead of going to the beach, go to an orphanage. Buy food for somebody to eat. If that's the only thing you have done, you have impacted society. At least one soul will say, I ate today because of you. You don't have to be a senator or a governor to impact society. Someday, gather people together with the, 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 the grass on the street if you cannot tie the road. Let it be recorded that that street, sanity came because you were there. If we don't see ourselves as the salt of the earth and as the light of the world, we will not go far. Our, 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 our faith will not be considered relevant. And so as a church and as individuals in authority, we must begin to take responsibility. And that's why I am very happy and very proud of some of the fathers of faith we have in Nigeria. Some of them are not just preaching and prophesying. They are taking responsibility. The other time I heard that WF Kumuye tied a road of about a thousand something meter. I said, this is Christianity. These are people to learn from. The other time I heard that E. E. Adeboe had he built over how many orphanages are forgotten. And he's been pumping money there consistently. They may not sing it, but those who are blessed know. And that is what Christianity is about. This emerging generation must understand that influence is not for people to know that you too, you are a deep preacher. You must understand that Christianity is not just to come to God every day and say, I receive, I receive. Christianity must become relevant. And it must become relevant to our present society. Take responsibility from where you are and God begins to enlarge you. If your life does not impact and transform men, you don't know what Christianity is about. Christianity is not a religion, but there's a religion in Christianity. And what does the Bible call that religion? It says to remember the widow. It's to remember the orphans. When was the last time you remember the poor around you? When was the last time you remember the orphan? And you are hoping that God will make you president. God will make you influential. What will be the purpose if it's all about food to eat? Your life is bigger than what to eat. Your life is bigger than food. Your life is bigger than what to wear. There is a society waiting for you. That's why the grace of God is on your life. Because when you meet people, you change their story. When you meet people, you give them a reason to know that God is good. James said, if a man comes to you and is hungry, he said, what is the benefit it is to that man? If you tell him, the Lord be with you. If you don't give him what to eat. Christians are growing very, very irresponsibly. And that's why even the ones that are in power don't know that they are supposed to be there as an example. What a shame that we have more than 50 senators and it doesn't reflect in policies. What a shame that we have more than 50 senators. It doesn't reflect in advancement in society. What a shame that we have more than 20 governors, but society is still crying. And then you ask yourself, who are those leaders? Didn't they come from churches? Didn't they pass through churches? What were they taught? How come this scepter has no impact? When they leave offices, they are probing them to recover monies that they dumped in different nations, cars that they hid in forest. That's what they are recovering every day. And they bear the name of the Lord, quoting scriptures every day. But they don't know why they were exalted. If Christians truly become Christians, the world will beg us to rule them. Because they will know if we come, answer has come. 